Hello. How are you? I'm Roger Real Deep Cool. And I'd like to thank you guys for looking at my video. I thank God for you and hope everything is well with you and your families. And I pray everything is, uh, you know, cool and good to go. And I'm happy to see you. I hope you're happy to see me. Now I will attempt to do a medley of songs on the bass guitar. I have to try to remember them as I go along. You may not know all of these. I may not know all of these. <laughs> but I'm going to do them anyway. Because this is a somewhat special review and first impressions and stuff. <laughs> you like that, did you? You didn't see that? You didn't... Watch this, watch this, watch this. Bam! <laughs> Bass! Hello, can you go? In the middle? What a brother know? I'm going to play these songs as I remember them. Slide. Wrong key. Just letting it all hang out. Hey. How you doing? I'm Roger. Real deep cool. And I'm going to write bass for you. <laughs> this is Grand Hall Day. <laughs> I need another song. Let's see. Um, um, see if y'all remember this song. You probably don't. This is one from back in the day. the song went but it was called put it in the pocket put it in the pocket yeah that's going back in the day about this group called pockets so I remember some Larry Graham what's that how you That's called Earthquake by Larry Graham of Graham Central Station.
don't get your water. Ding, 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 until your well run. Something like that. And then do one more by Larry Graham. And I think it goes something like this. Think of uh, 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 uh. that's it. I can't think of no more. I should not have played my own song off. How the guy went anyway. I'm done playing the bass now. Let's get over to some sauces. How about your boy? Sloppy as much, wasn't it? Whatever, man. I don't care. I was trying to entertain y'all for a little while. Get y'all ready. Get y'all self set. You know what I mean? Y'all get yourself together. See, this is like the prelim. This helps you get yourself together. Five to six minutes to get you. Let me get. Let me get ready to check out Raj. Imagine that. Lindemans, Australian Cabernet, six hundred plus gold medals. And I haven't had a drink all week. Oh, I'm high as a kite now. <laughs> Not. Just getting up from work, y'all. So uh, I'm going to have to get this done. because I got this Weekend is my early days. And tomorrow, of course, I don't do any YouTube, any social media. I may respond to YouTube, but there won't be any posting on anything. Instagram, YouTube, Rye Rube, everything. Oob. No posting. But I will respond to requests, you know, because it's just communication. I will do that. Where do I start? Let's start with this. This has been a crazy week dealing with this. Just just the idea of having all that is just crazy having four of those. And I really, really still haven't gotten down to it. But I can tell you this. I went to Saks yesterday. And I got the actual Amber. Now, if you understand the difference between the difference between amber oud, I mean amber, New York amber and Harris amber is first of all, this amber is thirty percent concentration, I think, for the New York amber. Harris amber is only eighteen. Figure that out. Oud, no oud. Just about everything else except what this has. Bergamot, no. Something else, no. So there is a difference between the two, and I smell the difference. So I went, I went, because they don't have it. I was surprised they didn't have Harrods, even though they had a Dubai connect collection at, at, at what you call them, or at uh, Saks on Sea Line Avenue in Philly. They have that Dubai, and that Dubai collection, yo, they want $500 a pop, $5.35 per bottle, but yo, that joint was banging. I forgot which one was banging and banging. All three of them are nice contenders. All three of them are good, but there was one in particular. I don't know what it was, the Red House. There's a Red House, Blue House, and I think a Gold House. Man, let me tell you. It's crazy. So anyway, yeah, these two are very close to being the same. My man got a little touchy when I was asking where he actually got these from. So, you know, I'm not going to push the level. I mean, it's all, it's all good. I mean, like I said, I still don't know if it's authentic or not. I have no idea. All I know is it stayed on the paper a long time. It stayed on my arm a long time. They smell pretty much identical, except for, like I said, this has bergamot and some other stuff, and this has ooh. It has more concentration, 30%, that's 18%. So, of course, this is going to last longer than this. I don't know. Don't make a difference. I appreciate the gift my man gave me, and whether they fake or not, 
the bottle still looked cool, and he gave them to me. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So my man ain't gonna mention your name, but uh, thanks again for that deal. And hopefully, like I said, we still can do the production thing if you like. All right, now let's move on. There was something else in the box. It was Brian, Brian, uh, Brian Park by Bond Number Nine. So. While I was in there as well, I don't have a swatch. I sprayed Brian Park. Now, let me tell you what I like about Brian Park. It has rhubarb in it. You know what this scent reminds me of? It reminds me of this scent that I really want to get by Clive Christian called Clive Christian X for Women. It's just something about that fragrance. And it has this rhubarb in it that's just off the chain. Well, this has rhubarb on the top. But it has raspberry and amber on the bottom. This thing, this thing, now this is what I got from my man. With this, it was in this big bottle. It said Brian Park Solution. It had the date it was tested. And then there's all these other bottles that had the same stuff in them. Brian Park, Brian Park, like bottles and bottles of this Brian Park. So I said, all right. As soon as I smelled it, I'm like, yo, this joint is banging. And that's when I smelled it from what he had gave me. Man, I sprayed Brian, I got Brian, look, I, yo, I sprayed Brian Park. I sprayed Brian Park at sex. It's on a swatch right now in my bag. This that my man gave me smells just like Brian Park. So I got like all this Brian Park. I don't know, a lot of you might not like Brian Park. I'm going to turn the women on to it at the job. They might like it. I ain't got no problem with it. I wear sweet. I wear Liaison Danger Roos. I wear Love. I wear uh, 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 Forbidden Games, all those by Killian, the sweetest thing you can wear. My boy at the job. My boy, I, I told the story a long time ago. My boy at the job, he played ball. My boy, we played ball together. My boy, rough, tough, he ain't no girl. He wants that liaison Jay the room. Yo, what is that you wearing? I'm like, you like that? He's like, man, that's sweet. I like sweet, man. So I'm going to turn him on to the Brian Park. So, bam, bam, bam. Liaison Jay the room, Brian Park. But the replacement for the, me, I put it for Granica. This right here is Clive Christian X. I don't have to get it. I'm sorry, Miss Z. If you see my you see my video, I told you I'm gonna come and buy Clive Christian X from you, but I'm probably not because Brian Park almost smells like it. Maybe I'll let call her tomorrow and see if she picks up the similarity between the two. So that's that. Now, Laudano Nero. Let me tell you something about Laudano Nero. After I did this the other day for first impressions, first of all, this awesome juice. What this do, the, the twist and turns that this juice take is unbelievable. And sometimes it smells sweet. Sometimes it's not as sweet. Sometimes you got a sweet amber. Sometimes you got this ooh coming out of it. It's just, it's just back and forth, up and down. Sometimes it smells like a, 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 um, a Amber Sultan. Sometimes it smells like Opus 6. Sometimes it smells like Lalati. Sometimes it smells like black Afghano. This stuff is all over the place. The notes are jumping around like freaking Mexican jumping beans. And I ain't trying to, don't get, yo, politically correct. All right, jumping beans. It, the, the, the scissors run around like jumping beans. It is crazy. This stuff is crazy. I walked in the door with this with the girl, with my sniffer. She was like, I like that. I like the wood smell out of that. Second wood I got out of this right here. It smells like woods. It's not a Doro. Doro, Woods is Doro. Uh, Tom Ford's Patchouli, Woods. Doro, Woods. This, not so much wood. This, this right here, my man E. Dot got this. I smelled this, like I said, Super Palooza last year with Tiaziano himself was in the door. And I told him to smell like Black Afghano. And he said he knew Alessandro. So I told that story, ain't gonna tell it no more. Here it is. That's it. That's proper. Get yourself some. If you want woods, amber, and some freaking oud. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, and here's the other thing. So then what I did was I went in after I had this on the back of my hand. And here's the presentation and everything. Y'all guys already saw it. This is an official review. I'm not giving you all the crazy notes and rickety rack and rickety root. You look it up. I'm just telling you it's banging. I'm telling you it's a banger. I think it's a buck 45. Get a boy some play. He got another. He got another one that's pretty nice too. I can't remember it right now. But Tiziano got another piece that's pretty nice. It's a little lighter in the shorts, but it's nice. Not as heavy as this, but it's nice. 
So check out Chisiano Terenzi. And my man, I think his ass name is Terenzi, but his name is like Kevin. No, I'm just kidding. But check him out. Real nice guy, too. Real nice guy. Check him out. Ladano Nero. Get it. I think it's a buck forty-five. Just get it, man. Females digging it. If the females digging it, I'm getting it. I need a drink on that. Turn the music on, man. We're going to listen to Musaics. The very first CD I ever did. Here we go. So anyway, how we get through all that and then handle music? I'm noticing when I play instruments all of a sudden, I'm starting to neglect my music, the CDs. Once again, Roger, I got some critical acclaim in Philadelphia for my first CD, my first CD I put out, Musaics. You ain't gonna find it online. But if you really want it, I'll make you a copy and I can sell it to you for five dollars. That's what I'm doing from now on. If you hear something like official musics and all in the mind, I'll make you a copy. I'll mail it out to you in a nice blank case, five dollars. All right? And I'll write my name on it and I'll autograph it, make it like it's autograph, whatever. You'll get it from me personally. Five dollars. And that's for any music I had. I tell you what, any of my CDs. For all the people who check me out on YouTube and Facebook and ever, because I try to get you to go and buy it off Amazon and download it whatsoever. If you don't want to do that, if you want it from me and I make you a copy, because I got plenty of CDs to make copies, I will mail it out to you. I'm just gonna go buy some plastic cases. I will mail it out to you for five bucks. I'm gonna have to put it in some kind of envelope that's gonna cost me a dollar. It's gonna cost you six. It's gonna cost you to mail it to. You. All right? How? Musaics. The name of the first song is Patience. Next, we are selling this. We are selling this 90% full presentation. You know what it is? Bam, 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 official. I don't like it. I don't know why I bought it. You know I bought it? Everybody was talking about, yeah, Bigger Street. Yeah, Bigger Street, like a Venice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that Bigger Street. Man, I should, man, I know I should have got West Side. I know I should have bought Lexington Avenue. I would trade straight up for West Side or Lexington Avenue. Spray out 10 mil or whatever you gotta do. It gotta have 90 in it. I know what 90 feel like, I waited. 90, get it. You got a trade for me? Now I got my man, he put up a nice trade. My man said he wants this, and I might be selling the APOM film and home, ohm. He wanted this and ohm, and he gave me $25 for pardon, almost full, like 98%, and cure beluga. The cure beluga is the shot. Pardon already has some pardon, but I can always use some more pardon. It's gonna be twenty-five dollars. I gotta give them this and own. I don't know if I wanna get above own. I had a problem getting above this, but I don't want to even swap. I would rather give him fifty dollars and this for the Cubaluga and the pardon. I really don't want to give up. The, 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 much as I don't like Apom, I know you guys like it. That's <laughs> why well, I know I want to keep it. I know I can decan it out. You know what I mean? Do my thing with that and help y'all share that. You know what I'm saying? So that's the deal with that. That's my man. He's a cool guy. I just met him, but we talked all last night. We flip flapping around trying to figure out what we're going to do. I got some other offers, but I really rather have $160. Now they have the $160. $165. Okay, I got mail. $165. Full presentation, $90. And I'll throw some samples in, of course. Might throw a sample. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a sample some Brian Park in here. Not yet. Not yet. Y'all know I got these, man. I am so enamored with these boots. Man, I'm thinking about getting some, I'm trying to look for blue laces though, so I'm gonna lace them up. Different color laces. Cause when I wear blue like this, I'd rather have blue laces than red laces. So I wanna see if I can find some blue laces. Anybody know I can get some blue laces? If I, I guess, I don't know whether Oscar, I'm not. These are Ralph Lauren's. Rams. They call it Jaden red laces. They call it Jaden's. And the price on these is, you know what they are. You know, these are not cheap. But um, they, man, they heavy. All leather, beautiful. Gotta get them, all right? Anybody know I can get some blue laces? Let me know. Only brought those boots up to mention that I bought some more boots tonight. I couldn't help it. I walked in, Green Street consignment, saw Jody. Jody was like, I said, these boots are nice. She's like, them the boots that I sent to you. I sent you a text of them boots. I sent you, and you said, you said, no, no, no. I ain't gonna be able to get my feet in those. Well, I wear size 12s. These are size 10 and a half. 
I've been stretching these joints for ever since, and I finally got them comfortable. So same thing with these. I got shoe stretches in them right now, stretching them out. Cause I have fat feet, I don't have any arches. If I had skinny uh, 12, I can get them in here. Cause you know, boots always run bigger anyway. Like when I bought my Timberlands, I always bought 12 Timberlands. You know what I mean? But my, but my watch columns are 13s. I bought them too big cause I didn't know how they would cut. The fries, the fries are 13, so I gotta wear two pair of socks. These right here, I gotta wear dress socks right now. Kenneth Coles, these joints are fire. Fire, I just put some polish on them, fire. Then I'll be doing that fashion thing. Pick this up today, Ralph Lauren. Pick this up today, baby. You wanna see it, see it right there? See that, see that woven? Gold, gold zipper, and the crest. Fashion. Now we're doing fashion, wine, music. What else do you want from me, man? What else do you possibly want? I done played the bass. No, I'm not playing guitar. I did that the other day. I did regular, regular, rah, 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 guitar stuff. I ain't got nothing to give you, but bam. Compliments of A2. He wrote on the box. Compliments of A2. A2 is the gentleman who gave me this. The guy who gave me Vetiver Geranium. The guy whose name is on this box, A2. I'll A2, thank you again, my friend. He said, check it out, Raj. If you like it, go ahead and keep it. If you don't like it, send it back to me. Exactly what the rules are. Now, this is a new company. From what I understand, I see there are, in fact, this, this fragrance is not on for granted. So I'm not gonna say they're totally new. I think this is a new fragrance by Mick Moy. Uh, a company out of San Francisco. So look it up, Mick Moy. That'd be M-I-K-M-O-I. Uh, Lanier Smith has done, um, I'm not sure if he did a review on this. He was drinking, a, he was drinking something. He was drinking, a, he made it whatever he drank. You know what I mean? I drink these wines right here. So, um, yeah, Lanier Smith did a, a review. I'm not sure whether it's on Idea Stasia, which is the name of this. Idea Stasia. Idea Stasia. That's how you break it down. Okay? McMoy. Let's pop it open. And I told him. I told him. If I ain't feeling it, I'm just... He was like, Rod, do what you gotta do. I'm like, all right, A2. Do I gotta do? I don't wanna insult your people. You know what I mean? I don't wanna insult them. But I am gonna give you a heads up. The notes in this is a little bit over the top. There's a little bit of everything. There's some rolls in here. And uh, because I'm not going to review it, I'm not worried about giving you the notes and everything in this. But it seems as though Lanier kind of dug it. I know I like the bottle. I saw a picture of the bottle. I like the bottle. Very nicely uh, uh, bottled and everything. So let's crack it open. Idea Stasia by Mick Moy. Compliments of Al A2. Here we go. Okay, it's coming unboxed, so there's no box. So it's coming straight from the holler at your boy, raw dog, ate off the top of the cup. No filter. Bars. Let's open it up. I'm sorry, San Fran. You know, when I was in the Navy, I uh I was in the Navy for three years. I was in Lamore, California. Woo! For all you people. I was in that area, Lamore, Vasalia, Fresno, Oxnard. I was in the middle of all that. I never got a chance to go to San Francisco. I went to San Jose. I was down there, San Diego, of course, because when we every time we went to sea, we had to leave out of San Diego. So San Diego, but never went to San Francisco. Never been to, El didn't go to what's called with the Reno, but I didn't go to Las Vegas. That was years ago, years ago. All right, we finally almost got it open, and here we go. I'm leaving all this intact just because I got to mail it back. Nice bottle. Nice top. Top reminds me of a, a Roger Dove top for uh, what's called. Nice top. Nice presentation. I'll let y'all look at that for a second. McMoy. Hold on. All right, McMoy, San Francisco. Check it out. I'm gonna take a sip and get these papers ready for some spraytage. Commercial.
commercial. Commercial. www.roger.net. Check him out. Check out his music. Check out his videos. Check out everything. Check out my stuff. www.roger.net. Weird, right? Okay, back from commercial break. Mick Moy, San Francisco. Let's give it a spray. First impression, first hitter, top, nice rounded crown, like that, nice and round. Not your regular straight up and down. Put some detail in it. The bottle is really nice. The bottle has shape to it, contour. Beautiful bottle. Clear juice, like a yellowish juice, as you can see. Yellow, almost caramel. Um, that kind of that kind of look. Clear top, plastic. Fits right over, snugly. Snugly. Okay, we'll make sure. Oh yeah, it's real snug. It's real snug. Look, it's snug. Whoa, I can barely get off. Like, screw it off. Okay, real snug top. Unlike some, unlike some, unlike some. What's up with bottle number nine eight tops? It's crazy. Let's go. From the, from the nozzle to the nose. Okay, okay, okay. Nozzle to the nose. I'm smelling something I like already. Dang, it reminds me of nozzle to the nose. It smells like fusion secret. Nozzle to the nose. It smells like fusion secret. Not the whole composition, but we got. I gotta spray it now. Here we go. Oh, the sprayer is a very like a, a, a like a shock. Whoa! This is like Fusion Secret. Almost. Let's spray it. Okay. 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 What time is it? Oh, I got time. I got time. Let me turn the computer on. See if we can. Up the uh, this is crazy. It's green, it's limey, it's oh, it's fugitive secree believing light. The film production drags. Okay. I'm telling you, this. If you guys are familiar with Majda Bakali of Future Secret, is like everything in it. it. Has like everything in it carrot, celery, bacon, chicken wings, vanilla, orange, uh, fabric softener, fragrance, uh, 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 microphone, mic screens, bad breath. This is that, but a little bit cleaner. Cause Fusion Sakria Sh really get to you. This is not bad. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. I can tell already. I can tell already this has, you know what? There's not gonna be anything up there on this. I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta look at the reviews. It got a little bleaker street in here. Oh, y'all know y'all know how big she is. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Here we go. These kids are called Boost, though. I'm wearing these joints tomorrow. They actually hurt my feet a little bit, but I got the shoe stretches in there. Hope you stretch them out. I'm gonna put on two pairs of socks before I go to bed and wear them around a little bit. Open them up. I wanna wear those tomorrow. These joints are tight. All right, let's go. I tell you, man, I've really been being blessed, and uh, you know, with, with the opportunity to get nice stuff. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I do want to return the favor. I do want to uh, give back to you guys. And, you know, I, I don't think I've done enough. You see what I'm saying? I, I really don't at times. In fact, I don't all the time. Mick Moy review. Okay, Mick Moy. I said Mick Moy, not Mick um, Mick on me. Mick. M O I. It's M I K M O I. Okay. Adesthesia. Now it looks like it says anesthesia, but it's adesthesia. Okay, y'all got me? Alright, like I said, Lanier did a review. Somebody else did a review too. If 
from Tiger Lily. So this was launched via Tiger Lily. Okay? And somebody did a review on Lanier Smith. Oh, that's the same review I saw last night. I'm not sure I'm be able to get any notes on this, y'all, unless I can find it someplace else. Uh, it goes for $96. Mick Moy also does, does have samples. All right, here we go. Home. Mick Moy, San Francisco. Catalog. Home. Let's go to home. I'm going to hurry up before I run out of time. I just stayed here. It says, Idea is a fragrance born from an exhibit from Summer Arts in San Francisco in collaboration with illustrator and painter Owen Brown and poet Emily Wallahan. Exploring the concept of Anastasia. How do ideas feel? This is a question driving Danko. Go on. Okay, there's a little bit more to talk about, but I want to talk about the notes. And this is how they this is how they came up with the notes. I gotta hurry up. Big Boy created five accords that blend them equally in parts to create ideas to capture the themes of Owen's drawing, interpreted in the chords of citrus birth, green notes breath, floral note, woods known, and spices found. So I was writing on a couple of notes. Birth, blood orange, bergamot, pink grapefruit, neroli. Breath, fig, clary sage, petty grain, spearmint, and cut grass. North, tamaroof. Jasmine, rose, geranium, gnome, sandalwood, cedar, pinon pine, whole wood, and old, and found is clove, black pepper, cinnamon, and ginger. I told you, I told you, it sounds like Fugitive Secret, but it's different. You know what I smell? If you look at these notes right here, the pinon pine, pinon pine, I can smell that pine. I can smell the pine, I can smell the bergamot, I smell the neroli. I smell something else in here. It must be the clove, and I smell the pine. I don't smell the tuberose or the jasmine that much. Maybe some geranium and rose. I think it's nice. $96. 100 mil, I think this is. I think you should check it out. All right, that's it. I like it, Al. I like it, McMoy. I like the idea. I like the whole concept. Thank you. Thank you very much. We gonna do what we talked about too as well though, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and send you this. I really gonna verify this before I send it to you, all right? I'll talk to y'all later, I'm out. Roger Realty Cool, www.rajur.com.